This man is feeding zombies with a piece of meat. Don't be so naive as to think he's raising a pet. In the future, zombies have replaced oil as the new energy source. The green breath they exhale can be the fuel that powers all machines. Reese tried to use the meat to motivate the zombies to keep breathing out fuel. But the zombie, already out of breath, wouldn't budge. Reese had to leave it on the side of the road. The smell of fresh meat attracts the zombies around him. Soon a lucky spectator wandering around the neighborhood follows the smell of meat. Reese pulls out his hunting gear and captures the zombie with little effort. He loads it into the gas tank. With fresh fuel, the car was ready to go. Reese is a special forces soldier who wakes up every morning and goes through a physical exercise program. You think he's a fitness freak? Of course not, because he's got to deal with an endless stream of zombies outside his house every day. Before he leaves, he swallows a small yellow pill that protects him from the virus. Then he opens the hatch. Fully armed, he comes out and shoots a zombie in the head. Zombies from all directions are converging on the house. Race, however, is calmly using the fuel from the zombies to cook his meat. The other zombies in his yard have their own roles to play. There's the zombie who rides his bike and irrigates the garden. There's a zombie that fights with him for fun, and one that generates electricity. When a zombie becomes weak, he stimulates it with raw meat. If that doesn't work, he'll shoot it out. Then he'll take a new one out of the cage and put it on duty. When it's time to go out, he'll use a homemade slingshot to throw the meat into the distance to attract the zombies. He'd take advantage of the situation to open the gate and sneak out in his car. Reese's job was to catch the uninfected humans. One day, he was wandering in the field when he got a message on his radio. Someone was about to pass through the area. He loaded his bazooka and waited for his target. Shortly after, a young man on a motorcycle comes into view. Reese didn't hesitate to fire a rocket and flip the bike over. Spider stood up and was about to curse when he was blown away by one of Reese's barometric bombs. Come on, mate. Reese then drove the captured spider to a secret bunker. From the bunker, a well-equipped team emerged. At the head of the team was a doctor in a yellow suit. He greeted Reese warmly and complimented Spider on his lovely skull. They're capturing normal humans to research an antidote to the zombie virus. The bunker is one of the military's bases. Despite Reese's constant flow of prisoners, the development of the antidote has been slow. When he was leaving, one of the colonels told him to take the woman in the photo live. She's a hybrid who was able to contain the virus, the same group that killed Reese's own brother. So, whether it's for the cure or to avenge his brother's death, Reese has no reason to refuse. When he returned to the bunker, doctor showed signs of abnormality. It turns out he was already infected. When he had the attack, he stuffed the forks into the girl's nose. The machine immediately produced a tube of medicine. However, it only served to suppress the virus. While he was injecting it, the colonel broke into the lab with his crew and witnessed the secret the doctor had been hiding to keep the infection at bay. The colonel ordered his crew to shoot him, but when the shots rang out, doctor was unharmed, but his crew was lying in a pool of blood. It was the colonel who shot him. He was infected too. This woman can be called the queen of the zombies, because she can control all the zombies with her mind. But once she turns into a zombie, she becomes so violent that only plasma can bring her back to her senses. A pair of sisters saw the zombie queen losing control and decided to go their separate ways to escape. However, Brooke is about to turn into a zombie in the middle of a virus attack. Grace takes out a tube of plasma and pours it into her mouth to bring her back to her senses. It turns out that Brooke is a hybrid like the zombie queen and has the ability to manipulate zombies. As soon as the crisis of the disease was over, a sudden rocket blew up the car and seriously injured both of them. Grace passes out, then Reese shows up with a shield to check things out. But there's nothing there but a zombie providing fuel. While he's wondering what's going on, a grenade comes out of nowhere and blows Reese away. Brooke emerges with a crowbar and hammers him, but she's no match for Reese, and he's knocked out with a single shot. When Reese took off his mask, he realized that the woman was one of the hybrids in the photo. He took her to the bunker without stopping. When Grace woke up and got out of the trunk, Brooke had already been taken. Reese took Brooke to the bunker. The colonel was thrilled to learn she was a hybrid and praised him for his work. At the end of the day, Reese drove home. It turns out Grace had been waiting and captured Reese. She then threatened to send her to the bunker to rescue Brooke. But she was ambushed by Reese on the way there. And so Reese gave both sisters to the colonel. Grace's constant resistance angered one of his men. And a casual remark he may reveal the secret of the bunker. I'm on these little punks coming up I'm fucking down. When confronted by Reese, the colonel threatened him to mind his own business and do his job without prying. The colonel threatened Reese to stay out of his way and do his job. A few shots from the air cannon put the colonel and his men on the ground. He took Grace and drove away. And so the two teams were in a life and death chase on the highway, with the colonel in hot pursuit. Even though Reese's engine was running at full power, he couldn't avoid the rockets. 
When Reese woke up again, he was tied to a tree. The colonel stood in front of him, taunting him. He shot him in the body with an airsoft gun. Instead of killing Reese, he tortured him as the zombies gathered behind him ate away at him bit by bit. After the colonel left, the zombies quickly came to his feet. Reese lifted his legs to survive. The zombies are underneath him, grimacing and ready to eat. Reese can't hold on to them for long. They're gonna eat him up, just as he's running out of energy and his legs are dropping. The zombies underneath his feet suddenly freeze, as if frowning in time. It turns out that the queen is controlling the zombies. The man raising his legs is being preyed upon by a horde of zombies under his feet. As soon as he puts his legs down, he will become a delicacy for the zombies. After holding on for half a minute, his legs drop due to physical exhaustion. At that moment, a miracle happened. The zombies were frowning in place. The zombie queen who appeared in the distance is now controlling the zombies. When he woke up again, the zombie queen and her group were looking at him with hatred because he had sent the sisters to the bunker. Even though he had saved Grace, he couldn't get rid of their hostility. Just as the queen threatened to chew his face off, Reese volunteered the location and strength of a base and led a team to prepare for a surprise attack. The queen was able to invade the base with her ability to control the zombies. But what he saw in front of him shattered Reese's faith in what he'd always believed. Scientists grow an antiviral serum from human bodies. Then they make pills out of human bodies. That's the source of the yellow pills he's been taking. Reese has been aiding and abetting the evil all along. His conscience kicked in and he chose to unite with the zombie army. Then they arrived at the bunker to rescue Brooke. Reese and his team pretended to deliver the queen to the army. The colonel was a little skeptical, so he sent a team to meet them. The queen shackles suddenly came off. As the car door opened behind them, Grace opened fire with a Gedley machine gun, and a few of the men opened fire at the same time. The soldiers are quickly wiped out. Then the queen took control of a few zombies to start the battle. This group of zombies easily defeated the other soldiers in the tunnel. The three of them are right behind them. Grace climbed into the vent and found the base's control room and helped them enter the base. The trio make their way to a secret room, but when the queen enters, the door suddenly closes. Reese and the other men were shut out. Apparently, this is a trap set by the doctor to capture the queen. Inside the chamber, the door opens to reveal a mechanical zombie, remotely controlled by doctor. It's so powerful that it defeats the other zombie soldiers with just a few swipes of its feast. Outside the door, the two of them try to open it violently, but there's a noise coming from inside the elevator. They turn their guns to be on alert. It turns out that the colonel has taken Grace hostage. They both surrender under threat. Barry was knocked out with a single shot. When it was Reese's turn to get shot, he wisely tapped the button next to him, causing the colonel to be ejected. The two fought for several rounds. Reese was defeated. At that moment, Grace wakes up and fires a shot that takes the colonel's breath away. Inside the chamber, the queen is also outmashed by the robot zombie and is being choked by it. Just when she's about to get her head knocked off by the zombie, Doctor suddenly lost control. It turns out that Brooke is next to him and she's controlling him with her mind. All the zombies in the scene were controlled by her, including Doctor who was infected with the zombie virus. After that, he was lying on the ground and performed a funny act of slapping himself. The mechanical zombie connected to Doctor's mind did the same thing. The queen seized the opportunity to pick up an iron bar and smashed his head hard. On the other side, Doctor desperately resisted Brooke's mind control and took a step towards her with an electric baton. He used an electric baton to stand rope before escaping the control. The mechanical zombie under Doctor's control wakes up and grabs the queen by the neck. She struggled and unplugged a nearby charging post, then pointed the plug at the zombie's head. With a strong electric current, Doctor convulsed and completely lost connection with the zombie. The zombie queen was also zombified from the intense fight. Unfortunately, all the plasma that could have brought her back to her senses was ruptured. Reese rushes into the plasma cabinet in the back room. Barry held the queen at bay to cover his teammates, but he was bitten in the neck by the uncontrollable queen. By the time they arrive at the lab, Doctor has already escaped through a secret passage with Brooke. The hybrid and activated the base's self-destruct mode. Barry is about to turn into a zombie. In order to cover Reese and Grace's escape, the queen used Barry as fuel to activate the escape device and successfully took them out of the base. The queen chose to disappear with Barry in the flames of the explosion. Doctor took Brooke to Reese's house and conducted a serum extraction experiment in the yard. He was able to deliver the antivirus serum from Brooke's body to his. When Reese arrived, he only found Brooke lying on a bed. Diane, that's when the doctor crept up behind Reese. The serum injected him with a lot of power. No matter how much Reese punched him, he didn't get hurt. Instead, Dr. slightest punch knocked Reese to the ground. Reese was lying on the ground, being tortured by the doctor. But then next moment, an iron bar pierced his body. It was Brooke who woke up. She devoured doctor for breakfast in front of Reese. The two sisters hugged each other tightly. After all this, 
Reese's faith had collapsed. He turned the gun on himself and chose not to help these evil humans. Let's watch a movie together to experience a different life. You can subscribe to save review and leave comments.